Hanging drywall isn't all that bad, especially if you watched our video last week, which you can check out right here on how to hang drywall ceilings. But what do you do whenever you need to make cutouts for electrical boxes, bathroom fans, or recessed lights? What's the easiest way to make the cutouts for those things? Well, my buddy Steve White from SRW Contracting is going to show the one tool that he's been using for like the last 10 years to make this a simple and quick job. And in the end, we're going to be giving away that one tool to a random lucky fan. So make sure you watch the video until the end. Let's jump into the tutorial right now. Okay, so now that we got the drywall hung in the ceiling, uh, we're just gonna mark out where we had our light fixtures. We had a recess niche here, you know, and like I said, I wrote them on the wall because it could be an hour, you could break for lunch, and then you forget about what numbers they were. So um, I just put them on the wall at 26 by uh, 40. So I just marked the center of where my can light was. Um, I have a little light fixture here, 52. The spot there it doesn't have to be perfect um, by 45. So we had just a little four inch box there, and then this was our, our vent fan. Um, most everyone has one of these, just a regular drywall knife. Um, I honestly don't use it all that much uh, because I have a roto zip that really makes it simple to just cut out the recess light. Um, I'm going to try to do the four inch one, but I haven't used it forever. <laughs> so, so it might be as ugly as, uh, you know, anything else. But, um, so we just got the center of that and we just want to cut out. So you hit the edge of the box. And you don't want to stick the knife all the way in there because you've got your wires in there. Um, just the just tip of the blade until you feel the edge of the box. So there's, there's my edge of my box there. Now I'm gonna go on the outside of the box. Maybe. Okay. Like I said, this is 5 h drywall, so it's a little bit tougher than Well, you'll definitely see the difference between a drywall knife and a rotor zip. So it's definitely a lot more difficult to do that with a rotor zip. You got to just hold it against the side of the outside of the box and just cut it around. Um, this was a pretty tough box to actually get up to because it's actually not sitting. We did, this was existing in, in our mock up here, so um, never mind that. But uh, like here for your six inch recess light, I got my center mark. So when you bring that in, you're just going on the outside of the box and just going and pressing against the box, and that makes it perfect. Um, you know, really, with if you have a lot of recessed lights, you know, you almost need this to make it perfect because a lot of the trims that they make, they only cover like literally like at the very biggest three eighths of an inch. So if you're trying to use a regular drywall saw and you made it look like my other box over there, you're gonna have a hard time having a cover that covers it because the covers that they come with are very shallow in coverage. So just a roto zip. Um, you know, the, the, this adjusts, it, it kind of helps you from getting too far into the box and it gives a little bit more stability. Um, this is old. I mean, this has been, I don't even know, 10 years. So I, I've beaten it up quite a bit. Um, and then we'll just do our, our vent fan. On the vent fan, you're just gonna cut from the inside of the box.
can, if you can afford to either buy a simple roto zip or, or maybe even rent one just for a couple hours, it'll make your drive a little professional. So. Well, that's how you cut drywall, specifically cutting out electrical boxes or outlets, bathroom fans, recess lights, right? Steve shows you how to do this easily with the roto zip. So here is the big surprise. We're gonna be giving away a roto zip back on over at homerepairtutor.com. So check out the latest tutorial back on over at homerepairtutor.com. I'll explain how to enter into the random giveaway and you might be that lucky person that wins this great tool. All right, so if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you won't miss out on these awesome giveaways and you'll learn skills from myself and Steve moving forward. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. Take care and I'll see you next week.